Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I hope you guys are having another awesome day. It's Rick coming back at you, and we are so close to 100 subscribers. So if you're new to this channel, definitely smash that subscribe button. I'm always coming at you with motivational content, things that are going to help set your mindset up for the goals that you have. And then also we talk a lot about finances on here. So understanding crypto, stocks, is the stock going to be big? Is it not going to be big? And then just some ideas that'll help you, again, reach some of those financial goals that you may have. But keep in mind when I say that, none of what I say in these videos is financial advice. I'm simply giving you the information that I receive from studying super successful people in doing what they do. And then also giving you my feedback on some of the markets that I'm invested in, like stock market in the crypto market in the NFT space. So if that's something that does interest you, make sure that you smash that subscribe button and turn on the notifications because I am posting a video a day, but I'm also posting a short a day as well. And those shorts, very similar. That's just something that you can digest really quick. That'll give you some quick tips and strategies, maybe some news as well for what's happening around the financial space itself to kind of keep you up to date with this stuff. And one thing that I want to talk about today is something that's actually going to help you to keep track of your goals, but keep your goals believable. Because remember, we talk about mindset in this. And one of the biggest things for you to achieve what you want is you have to believe that you can attain that goal that you're looking to attain. Because if you don't believe in it, eventually you're going to just reach a point where you just give up on it and you don't try anymore. So I want to give you this quick strategy to help you hit specifically your financial goal because this is going to help you break it down to its finest form and make it appear extremely easy for you to get that goal that you're looking to achieve. So I'm going to use as an example a million dollars in this case because a lot of people, of course, they want to be millionaires and that's the benchmark for a lot of these financial goals. So let's break this down a little bit for attaining that $1 million that might be on your radar or something that you want to attain before you uh, pass away or whatever, whenever it may be, it could be five years or whatever, but let's just say that that's your lifelong goal. So what you want to do is you want to break this goal down in what I coin as a baseball analogy. So it doesn't matter where you start. It's about where you're going. So let's break this down in a baseball analogy. So if you are trying to attain a million dollars, let's say that you only have a thousand dollars to invest, you want to figure out how many doubles you are away from getting that million dollars. So you want to focus on one double at a time. So if you start with a thousand dollars, your next goal, your next logical step should be I need to get. $2,000. I need to double my investment. So you're not focused on the million dollars. What you're focused on is how can I double this money right now? That's my next goal is I'm going to invest to double this. Then what happens is you get to $2,000 and then you set the same goal. I want to double this again. And then you just keep setting your next logical step goal up to double that money. But when you break all this down, because you have to have a game plan at the end of the day, how many doubles is it going to take based on where you're starting to get to that million dollar goal that you have or that hundred thousand dollar goal that you have or whatever the case may be. So break it down in this baseball analogy because it's going to give you something to focus on in the short term. So instead of you going, I want to be a millionaire, but I don't know the first thing about getting there. You don't have to worry about that. You just focus on your next logical step, which is doubling the investment that you initially put in. And if you do that, what you'll start to find out is that making million dollars really isn't that hard because all you're doing is just doubling your investment over time. So I wanted to share that with you because that's something that I personally use that gives me a benchmark for my next goal and keeps me locked in to what I need to be focused on and where, again, I'm allocating the money at the time and I'm not focused on well, what's going to make me a million dollars in the long term because that doesn't matter. It just matters about me doubling my money right now. So I hope that that uh, tip helped you there. It's something that, again, will help your mind stay focused, but also will put you in a sense of belief that I know I can double my money because you're starting with a smaller amount 
And of course, if you can start with the smaller amount, you're building your belief level up to say, it's easy for me to double my money. And then as you start to get more money, you're like, nah, well, I just doubled it five times. I know I can double it a six times, seven times, eight times. So again, I hope that this video helped you guys. Um, again, very, very close to 100 subscribers. So if this is content that's helping you guys out and you're getting value out of it, definitely smash that subscribe button like this video, and then of course, turn on that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time I post a new video with tips, uh, strategies, things that are going to help you condition your brain, your body, and your habits to get those goals that you have. So again, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and take care.